Pros and cons of living in Media, Pennsylvania. Media is a very popular small town that has tons of great things going for it. And with a town that seems almost perfect, there are definitely some cons that you need to consider before moving to Media. Stick with me till the end for the last con that we go over because it's one that not many people consider and it might be a deal breaker for you. All right, let's get right into it. Starting with the pros, we have five of them and we're gonna count them down. Starting with the location of Media. Media. Many of Media's residents, along with all of the people that I have helped buy a home in Media, always tell me how perfect of a town Media is and how they think it's truly one of the best places to live in the Philadelphia suburbs. It's so close to so many different places and things to do. Media Borough, which is the center of Media, has great walkability with a great variety of shopping and dining. Media is only 30 minutes to center city Philadelphia, which is actually the sixth largest city in the entire country, and the small quaint little town of Media is only 30 minutes from there by car, bus, or even trolley. Yes, that's right. You can actually take a trolley from the center of Media into Philadelphia. Media is also about 15 minutes away from Philadelphia International Airport. So if you move to Media, you never have to worry about being late for your flight. Or even better, you never have to pay for airport parking again. All you have to do is just take an Uber or Lyft and you don't have to worry about parking. Media is only 30 minutes from King of Prussia Mall which is actually the third largest mall in the whole country with over 450 different stores. Media is less than two hours to New York City and about an hour to the New Jersey Beach. Number four on our list is the public school districts that make up Media. There are a total of two school districts that make up Media, one being the Wallingford Swarthmore School District and the second is the Rose Tree Media School District. Both are very highly rated according to niche.com. Both schools have a very low student to teacher ratio at 14 to one compared to the national average of 16 to one. The third pro on our list is the things to do. Media is considered a city town because of its walkability in and around the State Street division of Media, which has a ton of different locally owned businesses for both shopping and it has some of the best restaurants around. The streets are lined up and down with restaurants. So if you're from Media or if you're familiar with the State Street area in Media, comment below which restaurants you recommend. The restaurant scene in Media is so extremely popular, mostly because of its Dining Under the Stars event. Dining Under the Stars is something that Media does every week during the summer months. They close down a couple of streets to offer outdoor dining all throughout the street, but if you're planning a trip to come and visit Media, make sure you make a reservation a couple weeks in advance because outdoor seating books up very quickly. If the shopping and dining scene isn't your taste, Media has tons of different parks and nature preserves, including probably the most popular Ridley Creek State Park, which has over 2,600 acres that's perfect for biking, hiking, or just enjoying nature. And now for the second pro, which is the real estate. The best part about real estate in media is there's such a wide variety of different housing options along with different price points as well. There's everything from affordable to ultra luxury and everything in between. The median value of a home in media is $331,000, which is lower than media's neighboring cities of Rose Valley and Swarthmore. The average home value in Rose Valley is about $565,000 and Swarthmore is about $430,000. And the number one pro on our list is the overall small town feel and the community-based aspect of living in media. Media's slogan is everybody's hometown, which honestly, it's completely accurate. All the people that I have helped move to media, they all agree and they truly cannot imagine living anywhere other than media. So now that we're done with the pros, let's jump over to the cons. We have four total cons and let's count them down. The fourth con on our list is media's population. So this might be a pro or a con depending on if you prefer small towns or not, but media is a very small town and their population is actually less than 6,000 residents. To put that into perspective, the average sports stadium can hold 
60,000 people. So you can fit the entire population of media into a stadium 10 times over. I would love to hear from you in the comments if you prefer a small town feel or if you prefer a larger city type feel where you can go outside and see somebody different every day that you've never seen before. The third con is the parking. So this might seem contradictory to the first con for the population, but it is very popular. So a lot of people from other towns definitely gather into media right on State Street for all of the local shopping and dining. So sometimes parking can get a little rough. If you end up buying a home in media, don't worry about parking because you can walk to just about everything. The second to last con on our list is the cost of living. Compared to the entire state of Pennsylvania, media is about 19% higher for the cost of living, but compared to the surrounding areas, it's much more affordable. The areas around media are great, they just have a little bit higher of a cost of living. And now for the number one con of living in media is the overdevelopment in media. Obviously, it's a very desirable town to live in, which then attracts home builders who try to take advantage of the demand in that area and build a lot of homes. Some think it's a great thing, others don't, but the good news is that instead of these builders buying the older, beautiful homes with tons of character and knocking them down, they're mostly just buying up the land. So if you love older homes with tons of character, don't worry, they're not going anywhere. But if you love new construction homes that are extremely modern and completely updated and beautiful, media has those as well. Those are the pros and cons of living in media. Comment below what you think. And if you're thinking about making media home or just about anywhere in the Philadelphia metro area, I would love to be your real estate resource of choice. Please do me a huge favor, like and subscribe for more videos just like this and all about Pennsylvania every single week. And until then, I will see you on one of these two videos.